Parker, where are you? The committee will be here soon. We need to run an equipment check. I'm almost there. Blocks away. Uh, guess I'll just do it myself. No, don't. It's not safe. Uh. Gotta love Doc's enthusiasm, but sometimes it gets him into trouble. Better get there before he hurts himself. I'm sorry I'm late. Oh. You started without me. The Grant Committee's director will be here soon. It's fine, Parker. I invented this equipment. I think I can handle it. Power damper. Man. Um, maybe we should abort. Not yet. Hold on. Dr. Octavius, are you okay? <coughs> Another setback. <coughs> but we're close. Is anyone hurt? No, it, it was all the, my fault. The energy levels exceeded our expectations. From a certain viewpoint, that's a very positive development. It doesn't smell very positive. I assure you, in the next phase... Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <coughs> Is there somewhere else we can discuss this? Maybe you should take the rest of the day off, Peter. But we'll talk later. Was a disaster. How could the dampener have failed? I know Doc said take the day off, but I have to figure out what went wrong. Ooh, you are in bad shape, little guy. Let's see what's wrong with you. How many lab fires have we seen now, Otto? Three? Four. That's how you know we're progressing. Out of the ashes of failure, great science is born. Don't think Dr. Octavius' optimism has ever been shaken. I think we've got samples of every type of prosthetic in existence. Our first volunteer subject, Lance Corporal Texador. Lost his arm overseas, and now just wants to hug his daughter again. It's amazing how quickly the prosthesis has evolved. I remember when our prototype used parts I ripped out of an old microwave. circuit burned out. Damn it. If I had been here to do the pre-check, I would have caught this.
Got it. Okay, need to reroute servo control. Nice. Okay, what next? And now rebalance the voltage. Finished. See if that worked. Good as new. Doc's been testing new materials for the prosthetics. He asked me to review his work if I had time. May as well dig in now. You know, just yesterday, we saw an extraordinary reaction cascade in the Limbic Bridge. We're looking for results, not cascades, Doctor. And results you'll have. Trust me, our work grows more promising every day. That reaction cascade was pretty awesome. Graduation. It feels so long ago. I interned for Doc in college. He made me realize I could do as much good for the world in a lab coat as I could in tights. Maybe more. Doc's made huge breakthroughs his whole career, but he's always been upstaged, usually by Oscorp. This time, it's going to be different. Was your research assistant late today? What sort of staff are you employing with our money, Doctor? I'll ask you to leave Peter out of this, please. He's young, still learning, but he's indispensable. A genius in the making. Wow. Thanks, Dr. Octavius. Love the coffee at work. God bless that grant money. Today's the day. Grant review. We're ready. The work has progressed at a remarkable pace. I honestly never thought we'd get the tensile actuator back to an acceptable tolerance. But Parker, the boy has an eye for guerrilla science like none other. Just as I was ready to order a custom machine replacement part, he returned from the hardware store with a bottle of solvent and a toothbrush. Bang! Actuator problem resolved. The boy is a genius. A chronically late genius. It's already ten after. Where is he? Surely he couldn't have forgotten today's review. Sorry I let you down, Doc. Peter, thank you again for doing these blind reviews. Peer review is the backbone of great science. You know, as we've prepped for the upcoming fitting, I felt an itch in the back of my brain. Is this really the best method of limb replacement? Silly, I know, but I keep thinking, might there be another way? Doc was testing a new contact material for the prosthetic. Hydrogel polymer composite. Strong, but there's a lot of impedance. Better tell Doc to keep looking for other materials. All right, 
I should get out of here before I screw things up for Doc even more. Spider-Man, it's Yuri. Fisk make it to Rikers yet? Not Rikers. Our boy qualifies for the VIP treatment. He's in the raft. Ah, joining Scorpion, Electro, and the rest. Fisk should be honored. That's a steam company. Can you swing by the precinct? Got an issue that could benefit from your unique skill set. For you, Yuri, anything. I'm on my way. Huh. Looks like Jameson's got a new episode out. Wonder what my number one fan thinks about the fist takedown. This is Just a Facts with J. Jonah Jameson, where listeners like you discuss the issues affecting our city with Pulitzer Prize winning two time. Two time. Pulitzer Prize winning former publisher of the Daily Bugle. Hey, plug the book. And, and as always, if you order Mr. Jameson's book, Spider-Man, Threat or Menace, within 24 hours of our broadcast, you'll get an autographed copy at no extra charge. No personalizations, don't ask, not gonna get it. Welcome to Just the Facts with J. Jonah Jameson, alerting you to the threats you don't even know about. Let's dive right into the calls. Speak. Okay, so not for nothing, you gotta give Spider-Man respect for taking down Wilson Fisk, right? I mean, one last mob boss is good for everyone. Is that right? Tell me, are you a police officer, prosecutor, maybe an award-winning reporter with decades on the job like me? Uh, no, I'm a plumber. Oh, good. Then fix my toilet and shut up! Let me explain something to you about crime bosses. As soon as one goes down, every punk with a gun, a tracksuit, and a drawer full of gold chains decides he's the next godfather. We're gonna have a gang war in the streets, but does that whip-headed moron give a damn? Of course not. It got on TV. That's what counts. <laughs> yeah, well, I can get copper pipe without paying kickbacks now. So until that gang war starts, I'm on the webhead side. And you'll be singing a different tune when three new mobs are lining up to charge you triple for that same pipe. Or just break your legs. Goodbye! <sighs> Someday, Jonah. I'm gonna get you to say something nice about me. Someday. <laughs> 